So these three exercises are part of your shoulder blade chest opening exercises. So the first one is place your fingertips on top of a countertop. It could be in the kitchen or the bathroom. You're going to be about oh, maybe two feet away and lightly touch your ears, not leaning. And then what you're going to do is stand up nice and tall, bring your shoulder blades back, lift your chest up, take a breath in, and then let go of your chest. So really let your chest go down. So come up, pull back, make sure you don't go up, make sure you go back, lift up, inhale, and let go. So you're going to do that about three to five times, shake it all out. And then the next one is called the ballerina exercise. So you can do the sitting or standing, and what you're going to do is pretend like you're holding like a big beach ball, and you're going to raise your arms up very gracefully. As you come up here, you inhale, look up to the sky, and then as you come back, try to reach behind you, and then really let your rib cage drop as you exhale. So big circle, inhale and exhale. Okay. Make sure that rib cage is dropping down as you come back down. Inhale and exhale. So you're going to do that about three or four times. And then the last one is the uh, backward swimming. So that one, you're going to get the ribs moving a little bit first. So make sure your feet are staying still and you're just going to get the ribs moving. So that waist is turning, your head goes with your shoulder and you're trying to get your whole shoulder to go to the opposite side of the room. Okay? So really move that body around and then let your arms hang and then you're going to bring one arm up, make sure the palm is facing in come right to your ear. Then you're going to turn with your head and your body and do a big swimming motion with your arm. Come back to the middle, arm to the ear, turn around and try to reach to the farthest part of the opposite side of the room. Up, inhale, around, exhale. Up, around, exhale. And that's backwards swimming. 